Okay, I'm here again. I wanted to make a video of knives, pretty cheap, good knives, and where you can find them at. And these knives are here right now, I have on the table, are the ones I found at pawn shops or flea markets. All these knives right here. Uh, starting off with this one. This is the Gerber Fast. I got this in a pawn shop for like $25. This right here, Spyderco Ladybug. I got this in a flea market for $10. So all these knives, I got them pretty cheap, and they're good knives. And, I mean, if you want to look for a good knife, you can look at those stores. They have some good knives. It just depends if you see them and they have them, if you walked in and they just got some, or you just got lucky like I guess I have. Another one would be this Gerber Auto 06. Also got it from a pawn shop. I paid $60. These two are uh, from also a pawn shop. I paid twenty dollars each. Uh, the Gerber DMF. Both I got both of them practically still new. Uh, the paint was still there. Both uh, black bladed, serrated. But the other one, I did take the blade apart. I took off the little, I guess, a point you can see, like the point that makes the reverse tanto. I took it off, made it more like a drop point, and polished the blade. Also, the clip, nah, the clip is nothing, but, I mean, I polished the blade. So now I have two versions of it. The satin or shiny blade, spear point, and then the reverse black cancel. Also, another one would be this one. This is from Kit Cut. Nah, it's a cheap brand, I guess. Uh, G10, so it's a good knife. How much did I pay? I think I paid, yeah, about $10, 10 and 81 cents, plus a tax. Also, I bought... This CRKT Rolock, also from a pawn shop. I think I also paid mm, about ten dollars for this one. And then I got this one also from a pawn shop. I got these two at the pawn shop. Spider Cole. This is a bird flight. And this is one of the older versions of uh the Endura. This is Dura Clip It. Also both from the pawn shop. I bought this one for twelve dollars. I bought this for ten dollars. This old vintage, I think it's called a vintage knife from Kershaw. Also bought that. Uh left some paint here. I was gonna sharpen the knife to so make it sharp. Also, ten dollars. Pawn shop. This also too, pawn shop. This is the Gerber Easy Out. I think I paid this one twenty five. I don't know if I paid a good price for this one or not, but I know in retail prices or even Walmart or Targets, they're going to be, what, $30 plus the tax? So I got this 25 I got this, also got this from a pawn shop. No, flea market. I also got the flea market, the same one I got this one at. This is a bird. It's also, yeah, it's ugly. It's an ugly one. I think people resharpened it, so the blade looks even smaller than I think it's supposed to be. Did have a clip. I took it off. I was trying to do the best I can to fix it. There's some burn marks. Then my only and my very first K bar, also bought from the pawn shop, bought it for ten dollars and I think eighty two cents, I think it was. K bar. But my very first cold steel came with the pouch, also at a pawn shop. Uh this was also ten dollars. It was on sale. They said it was on sale. It was a a regular price of thirty, but since they said they had it for a long time, they had to put the price down. Also, pawn shop. My only one I have for the coat steel. And then I got this one. It's a Leatherman Wave. Also from a pawn shop. I think I paid about close to $11. This was still new and everything. I mean, the blade was too sharp. There was no rusts on the, the multi tool. All the blades come out good, perfectly, easily. Both blades. Serrated, plain, also pawn shop. And then the last one, oh yeah, the last one from also pawn shop is this Baron Sun butterfly knife. Also, no, no, I paid twenty five for this, twenty five dollars for this one. I guess they just got it in and 
they were selling in, you know, pawn shops. When they just get them in, they have a set price. When they've been there for years, maybe a couple of months, they'll start moving the uh, prices down. Awesome. And then the last one I'll have to say will be this one. This is the Benchmade 905 Strike Tool. Uh, my dad got it for me at a, what's it called, an auction. He also got this one for an auction. I think he also paid $15 for this one. I think it might be the best find I found at a pawn shop or flea market or anywhere like that. So if you're looking for good knives and cheap price, go ahead and look at those stores, flea markets, pawn shops. You might find something nice. I found all these knives. All right. All right. Thank you.